uh, feel free to feel free to inshallah uh, forward this to your uh, uh, i mean uh, friends with the nikna uh, this program is designed for ikna mgas and members and and our you know people who are close to ikna inshallah so we, without taking too much time inshallah today's uh, session will be uh, led by our dear sheikh abdul rahman and inshallah he'll talk to us about the bar goes higher the last 10 days the bar goes higher inshallah so sheikh abdul rahman go ahead please أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد my dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته in these last ten days and nights of Ramadan uh, Tarbiya Department along with ILF uh, want to take a few minutes of our precious time to remind ourselves how to take full advantage and benefit from the last part of Ramadan. Though all parts of Ramadan are special and there are blessings and rewards, but the last 10 days and nights hold special status. And this was told to us by Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and this was exemplified by him. As members of an Islamic movement, the bar we set for Ramadan should be higher than the average Muslim. We are activists. We are the people who call for positive changes in our society, in the life of others. And in order to bring about that change, we have to experience those changes within ourselves. Hence, the last 10 days of Ramadan, the bar goes higher, the bar gets higher. And starting from today, we have our dua and reflection session till the end of Ramadan. It is not so much of a speech. It is seven minutes of quick reflections on these special last moments of Ramadan. And we'll take about half of that time, about eight minutes or so, with sincere dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In today's reflection, I want to focus on two aspects in these last 10 days, and I'm sure the other presenters, inshallah, will bring up bring out more aspects to, to think about. And it is a hadith that is reported by Aisha radiallahu anha, in which he said, Kana Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam idha dakhala al-ashr shadda mi'zara wa ahya laylahu wa ikadha ahla. That when the last 10 nights of Ramadan <laughs> arrive, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would tighten his belt, spend the night in worship, and wake his family. The first lesson here is that we should prepare ourselves to stand up for a long night prayer. We don't know if we will have this opportunity or we will be given this opportunity any other time or another time. As Islamic movement workers, Qiyamul Lail is the fuel of our soul for us to do what we need to do in this ailing world Qiyam provides that fuel to the soul that gives us the energy to do what we have to do. We are aware of the challenges to do Qiyam in these 10 nights, work, school, helping others, da'wah, preparing iftar for others. But let us make sincere niyyah to do all the nights. And if we cannot, at least the odd night starting from tomorrow night, let's take some time off from our job for those who can in these last 10 days. If we cannot, at least on the weekends and a little every night that we can stand and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, apart from our tarawih, apart from our other dhikr that we might do, let us stand some time in, in the night and do qiyam to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second lesson we get from this is that from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to wake up his family in these last 10 nights for this Qiyam. Sometimes it can be a challenge. There is no doubt about that. But we have to start with ourselves, then our families, to be able to truly reach out to others with a clear conscience. We must not feel that if my family cannot wake up for Qiyam uh, and they cannot do it, my dawah comes to an end. No, the dawah continues. But at least we have that clear conscience in our mind that we have made our effort with our families. The second reflection is Laylatul Qadr. It is the greatest night 
just like Arafah is the greatest day of the year. Laylatul Qadr, Allah has revealed a full surah like Surah Al Qadr. And he has revealed part of Surah Dukhan, verses three to six about this great night. The night in which the Quran was revealed to guide humanity from darkness to light. It is the night when every matter is of ordainment is decreed. And so for the next year, all the things that are gonna happen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for that coming year. And so we need to ask Allah for all the good for the coming year. And so who misses Laylatul Qadr is really deprived. He's a deprived person. As Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man hurim, man hurim faqad hurim. Whoever is deprived of its good is really deprived, meaning of something really great. And to know that in that night, man qama laylatul qadr iman and wahtisab and ghafir lahu ma taqaddam min zambi, whoever stands up in prayer in laylatul qadr out of iman, that is faith and sincerity, that and he is seeking the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then his previous sins are forgiven. And that is why in that, in that moment, what we say when we reach Laylatul Qadr, Allahumma inna ka'afoon tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. Oh Allah, you are the partner. You love to pardon, so pardon me. This is what the dua that we are told to read. And so let us every night, let us spend some amount of time to make this dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah pardon us and forgive us all. And now we turn, inshallah, to our du'as to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wholeheartedly and with sincerity to him. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Hamda shakirin, hamda na'imin, hamda nyawafi ni'amahu wa yukafi mazidahu. Allahumma laka alhamdu wa laka shukru kama yambagi li jalali wajhika wa liadhimi sultanik. Allahumma laka alhamdu kulluhu wa laka shukru kulluhu Anta ahlun an tuhmad, wa anta ahlun an tu'bad, wa anta ahlun an yusjadalak, wa anta ya rabbi ala siratu mustaqeem. Allahumma inna kafun tuhibbul afafafu anna. Allahumma inna nas'aluka ridaka wal jannah, wa na'udhu bika min sakhatika wa nar bi rahmatika ya azizu ya ghafar. O Allah, accept our fasting, accept our qiyam, our siyam, our ruku, our sujood, our zakat, our duas from us, Ya Allah. O Allah, free us from the hellfire and enter us and our families in Jannatul Firdaus, Ya Allah. O Allah, guide us among those you have guided. O Allah, forgive us our mistakes, our ignorance, our transgression in our matters. And what you are more knowledgeable of than us, Ya Allah. O Allah, forgive us what we did in seriousness or in jokingly, intentionally or intentionally. O Allah, forgive us for, for what we have already done, what we are yet to do, what we did publicly and what we did in private. O Allah, distance us from our sins as you have distanced the East from the West. O oh Allah, purify us from our sins as white cloth is purified from dirt. O oh Allah, wash away our sins with your mercy and your forgiveness, Ya Allah. O oh Allah, give us our book of deeds in our right hands on the day of judgment. O oh Allah, do not disgrace us when we stand before your majesty for questioning. O oh Allah, make our reckoning easy for us, Ya Allah. Make our scales heavy for us. Let us cross the bridge to Janatul Firdaus with ease, Ya Allah. O Allah, we beg you for faith, which does not waver, blessings that never cease. And we beg of you, Ya Allah, to be in the company of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the loftiest place in Janatul Firdaus. O Allah, grant us to be in the company of the Nabiyeen, the Siddiqeen, the Shuhada, and the Salihin. O Allah, grant us the ultimate pleasure of seeing you in genital for those, Ya Allah. 
Oh Allah, we are in dire need and desperate of whatever good thing you may send us, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, we are desperate for your help. Oh Allah, keep us firm on Islam until we meet you, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, let our last deeds be the best of our deeds and the best day is the day when we will meet you, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, we seek refuge in you, that we meet you and you're gonna be angry with us, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, we complain to you our weakness, our scarcity of resources and the humiliation that we have been subjected to by the people, Ya Allah. O most merciful of those who show mercy, our Lord of the weak, and O Ya Rabbana, to whom you have entrusted us, to a distant person who receives us with hostility, to an enemy to whom you have granted authority over us, so long as you are not angry with us, we do not mind, Ya Allah. Your favor, is of great relief to us, Ya Allah. We seek refuge in the light of your face by which all darkness is dispelled and every affair of this world and the next is set right. Lest your anger or your displeasure descend upon us, we desire your pleasure and satisfaction until you are pleased. There is no power, no might except you. Allah strengthen our jama'ah with true brotherhood and togetherness. Bless our ethnic sisters and grant them success in all their programs, carrying out this work with sacrifice, Ya Allah. Accept from them and all of us for our efforts that we make in this deen and for our sacrifices, Ya Allah. Oh Allah, protect the affairs of our jama'ah both internally and externally. O oh Allah, remove from our hearts any grudges, any envy, any evil quality that we may have for each other. O oh Allah, whatever trial comes our way, do not cause our jama'ah to break, but make us like Bunyan and Mursus. O oh Allah, help us to read the Quran for knowledge, understanding, and action, Ya Allah. O oh Allah, help us to read the Quran to get guidance from it, Ya Allah. O oh Allah, help us to read the Quran to have a conversation with you. O oh Allah, help us to read this Quran that when we feel lonely, that we can find comfort with it, Ya Allah. O oh Allah, help us to read this Quran to cure our internal, external diseases, Ya Allah. O oh Allah, Help us to read this Quran so that we can lead the world to the straight path. O oh Allah, our Ummah is going through very tough times. O oh Allah, most of our leaders have abandoned us. Help us, Ya Rab. Grant victories to our Uyghur brothers and sisters. Grant victories to our brothers and sisters in Kashmir and in India. O oh Allah, is the suffering of our brothers and sisters in Yemen, those who fled from Burma, Ya Allah. And all those who are suffering at the hands of the oppression, oppressors, O oh Allah, relieve them from their hardship, O oh Allah. Free Palestine from the lands of the occupied, with the hands of the occupiers, Ya Allah. O oh Allah, the occupiers have no fear of anyone. They feel they have power that no one can touch. O oh Allah, unleash in them and their supporters your power, Ya Allah. O oh Allah, let them see a day like Pharaoh, Ad, and Thamud. O oh Allah, destroy their power, Ya Aziz, O oh Ya Jabbar. O oh Allah, give us patience. O oh Allah, we ask of you to accept our dua, Ya Allah. We raise our hands, seeking your forgiveness, hoping to die while you're pleased with us, Ya Allah. O oh Allah, here we are before you in humility to you, that our hands are raised as fasting people and the dua of a fasting person is answered, Ya Allah. O oh Allah, do not return our hands empty after we have raised it to you for your generosity and mercy. O oh Allah, any good from you is pleasing to us, Ya Allah. 
Ola, we stretch our hands to you, even though we acknowledge that our hands are filled with sins, but we know your hands are filled with mercy, kindness, and forgiveness. Accept our dua. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad kama salli ala Ibrahim. Wa ala Ali Ibrahim ma innaka hamidu majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim. Wa ala Ali Ibrahim ma innaka hamidu majid. Wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi wa rahmatullahi. Jazakallah, Sheikh. Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, please join again tomorrow, inshallah. Uh, quick thing, Sheikh. We have two requests for du'as, special du'as. Brother Rehan uh, from Dallas, his mother is very sick. Uh, he went to Pakistan. And second is Brother Haider Imam's son, Ghazali. Uh, Brother Ghazali had a surgery last week, you know. So please make du'a for their uh, quick shifa as well, inshallah. Oh Allah, we ask of you for our brothers whose relatives are going through medical uh, difficulty that you get, grant them a speedy recovery and a complete shifa, ya Allah. Adhibal bas rabban nas, ishwi wan tashafi la shifa ila shifa uka shifa an la yugadir wa saqama. Wala all of our members in, in ICNE whose family or who is sick, we ask of you to relieve them of their sickness, ya Allah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat ya ma'isifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Salam. Inshallah, we'll, we'll come back tomorrow at 7.15, same time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.